Also, Matt Gregory is riding around in Eco 9 right now, keeping an eye on conditions. Matt, where are you now and what are you seeing? Yeah, so right now we're on 7, headed east, uh, just passing Purcellville, but let's take a look at what we're seeing. And as you hear Michelle talking about that accident on 495, it's not hard to see why, right? Look at the roads. They're uh, inundated with rain. Uh, in addition to, uh, while there aren't as many cars on this particular road, 7, you can see that just a little bit of splashback off the back of uh, one of these vehicles is enough to cause a little bit of uh, obscuring of your driving vision. So, you know, we haven't seen a whole lot of freezing rain out quite this way, but we wanted to show you the conditions are still mildly treacherous in that way and that, you know, it's very hard uh, to see a little bit when you're driving and also it's a slick road conditions and then when that uh, rainwater hits the ground, it has the potential to freeze. So that's what we're seeing. We'll give you one more look from above. Uh, like I said, raining, it's going to get messier as we get further in. We're headed towards Leesburg, uh, but take it easy. Remember, overpasses, bridges, uh, bypasses, all of those have the potential to freeze and that can cause many more issues. So take it easy this morning. We're already seeing some issues in the 495 area and the potential for that as we spread out further west. So that's what we're looking at right now. And we'll still be in uh, Eco 9 and we'll have a streaming uh, version of this going on uh, on our website. If you want to click on that and uh, at this point, we're just going to send it back to you.